Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Ashwini Priya Darshan. Today's recipe is Paneer Chatpada. This is a very tasty recipe, goes well with naans, rotis and rice. Let's get into this. For this, I am taking onions, ginger garlic paste, chilies, capsicums, tomatoes, 200 grams of paneer, cashews, 1 cup of curd and whole garam spices along with somf. Instead of powder, I am using all the spices directly. Coriander leaves, salt, armchur, chaat masala, jeera powder, dhania powder, turmeric and red chilli powder. Now in a pan, I have added 2 spoons of oil, adding all the whole garam spices. Once this starts spluttering, we have to add onions. We have to sort this for 2-3 to three minutes until they change color. You can close the lid. Meanwhile in a blender, I am adding tomatoes. I have used half of the tomatoes which I have taken and few cashews. Blend it into a fine paste like this. Once the onions get sorted well, they change the color. Now I am adding ginger garlic paste. Once the raw smell goes off, I am adding capsicums. You can chop in this size so that the texture will be good. Adding cashews, this is optional guys. Need to cook until the capsicums turn soft. Now meanwhile I am adding half a cup of curd to the tomato puree and mix well like this. Now once the capsicums are turned soft and cooked well we can add this puree. Make sure the flame is in low. Give a nice mix and add all the spices. Adding of armchur and chaat masala gives that punch for paneer chatpata. So make sure you are adding both the spices and adding few more tomatoes just to give a good texture. Cover it and cook for another 3 to 4 minutes. Now mix it thoroughly. I'm adding few chopped green chilies now. We don't need to add chillies in the before itself, we can add it this point of time. Adding little more water to adjust the consistency. It's optional, if you want thick you don't need to add the water as well. Now I'm adding paneer. Mix it for another 2-3 to three minutes. Just making sure all the spices are combined well with paneer. Finally adding coriander leaves. This is good to go and we can serve it. That's it guys. This is a very easy recipe for paneer chatpata and do give it a try. It's very tasty. Goes really well with rotis and naans. So if you like this video, press the like button, share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.